Welcome to Cool Dude Clem's Electronic Workshop with me, your host, Cool Dude Clem. While having a look at what's on one of my hard drives, I've come across a few circuits that I want to try out. Now, this one here is an audio circuit. It's a compressor that uses no active components at all. It's completely passive. I want to see how that works out. That's what I'm going to be doing in this video. Also, I found another few interesting circuits. I've got a microphone preamp here. Common bass. I don't know why the here came out so loud, but yeah. Microphone preamp with a common bass input. And if you just go forward a little bit. Some Tesla coil circuits that I want to try out later on. Not in this video, but my camera is framing my cousin's face, but it's not framing mine. Um, yeah, let's see if we can find some. Okay, there's another Tesla coil circuit. Um, that one's a noise gate. That's a, another audio circuit that I'm going to try out. See, so yeah, there's quite a few things here. I want to try out. Let's see if we can find some more circuits. Hey Tails, look at me. I made you look. Oh yeah, there's some more te um, some more Tesla core circuits there. So yeah, there's uh, quite a lot to try out. Let's see if we can get back to where we were. So, that's what I'm going to be doing in this video, seeing how well this passive compressor actually works. So, here it is, so far. Now, I'm a little short on supplies at the moment, so I've had to improvise a little bit here. First of all, I don't have the diode specified, so I've just used 1N4148. Hopefully they'll work. I don't really know the specifications of the diode that the actual schematic specifies. Also, I'm fresh out of 22 microfarad capacitors, so I've just stuck two 10 microfarad capacitors together in parallel. It should still be close enough. Also, I am fresh out of 100 micro um, 100 kilo ohm capacitors. I don't mean capacitors; I mean variable resistors. So I've stuck a 50 kilo ohm one in there. Hopefully, should still get some kind of result out of this circuit. Okay, well. I have tested out the circuit and it appears to work. So these wires here is where the audio is coming in and I'm just using my computer as the audio source. This potentiometer adjusts the release time and to listen to the output of this circuit I've got this connected to the input of my Vestifier tape recorder because I know that this circuit is going to have a pretty high impedance output so I'm going to need something with a pretty high impedance input. And of course I can boost the output as needed. So I guess you want to hear how this thing sounds. Although I'm not going to put through a little speaker. I'm going to do a direct hookup. Okay I really hope this works. So I've now got this set up as a mixer. So we can compare what's going into this with what's coming out of this. And I'm also mixing in my microphone. All on the same channel. I don't know what's causing those weird crackly noises. It just appears to be on the microphone, but yeah. So, got some music here I made in Maximizer. Let's just give that a little listen. Right, so now what we're actually listening to is what's actually going into this. So we're not hearing what's coming out of this. But if I Now we're hearing what's coming out. I can hear right away that the high frequencies aren't quite as good. If I turn up the release time. I don't know about you, but that snare sample sounds a little bit more stressed now. Okay, I'll just stop that. So now, Let's try this with some other music. 
Okay, so I've got another song loaded up in here. So, let's give that a listen. And this one's got a lot more punch to it. And right now we're hearing the compressor's output. I don't know about you. That sounds like compressed audio to me. Let's just adjust the release time. compare that with how it normally sounds. Okay. Well, I don't know about you, but I'd say this is working. Okay, so this time I'm going to try with some non-chip music. So, I'll start this playing. So right now we're hearing this directly. I'm now going to switch over to the compressed output. So let's adjust the release time. This is on maximum resistance. Minimum resistance. And it's happy again. Yeah, I will be putting these up on my Music Wizard channel when I get the time to do so. I think that's pretty good demonstration of the circuits. So even though I didn't have the right components, I still made it work. Now I might make a microphone preamp with this compressor in it, I haven't really made my mind up yet, but I can definitely say this circuit works. And until next time, goodbye.